Hello! Just put some lipstick on. Wow, what is this? It was rolling on the floor. <laughs> so that looks good. Yeah. What is it? It's like a nude, right? I thought it was, um, at first I didn't realize it was even tinted. There is gold lettering on that. These contacts in, I can't see a thing. I have no idea what it says. Oh my God. So, you watch the weather around here. We have an impending snowstorm, which didn't even give us a name yet. I watch every news channel. I don't have, well, all right. My main channel is channel seven, ABC, always ABC. But I like to flip flop to different channels. There's this guy on, I think it's channel 11. I forget his name, he's an older man. I like him because he's very relaxing his voice. And at the beginning of the week, he was like trying to keep us all calm. He says, we're at the beginning stages right now. We don't want to panic. And like yesterday, we're like, oh shit, we got a panic mode. I'm like, oh shit. If he's saying that, it's bad. It's bad. Stormfield makes it like it's the end of the world. He's so excited. He's so pumped. He's so juiced. He's like, yeah. And then there's a lady on at noon and she's like, well, it's where you're going. well, it could be anywhere between three, six, nine, twelve inches. Pick one! And if it moves to the south, we could be talking feet. If it moves to the east, inches. She's very, very calm, and it was like uh, such a such an array of like, oh my god. So basically, we're gonna get something, I think. Cause well, you don't really know it. I think we're gonna get something which I'm really excited about and I am incredibly thankful to God. I am not going to Adam's tomorrow because it's gonna to start tomorrow and this would be a hot shit moment. It would be like, I think anybody who's traveling tomorrow, Friday, should reconsider planning and leaving today, Thursday, for sure. Cause it's gonna be a hot mess tomorrow. Forget Saturday, Saturday and Sunday are shot to hell. They're gone, they're gone. When it's gonna start Friday, but it's gonna, of course, it's gonna be like really awesome at like three in the morning. No, I can't walk to the dark park at three in the morning, right? And he, I love to go out and get the videos when the snow is falling. It really adds to the ambiance and it's so cool. But I'm not gonna do that at, at that hour, but I will be up early. I will be up early. The problem is, I mean, if I tell you, it's, it's a three block walk. It's a three block straight, two block straight walk to the park. That brings you to the park. Then you have to get through the park. And if it's how many inches, it's not plowed. So it's exhausting. And since we're, I'm saying maybe six to eight inches, I'm thinking, you know, I can't bring the wagon. So I'm going to have to carry it. I sh oh my God. I should have got a sled. And then I could have just dragged my crap. Damn, why didn't I think of that? I don't have anything I could use. I'll just drag the bag. I'll just drag a bag. That would have been so cool though. I could have had a little sled and just dragged my crap. Why didn't I think of that a day before? I could have ordered it beforehand, but no, I didn't think of that. That would have been cool. But anyways, uh, Pia had a death in her family. I'm very sorry for your loss, Pia. Pia is like a mega fan. She comments on everything. Even my silly little shorts. You never miss anything. She sent me Christmas cards, birthday cards. Has her kitty, honey, kitty, honey. Wait a minute. I'll get the name. Honey, kitty, kitty, honey, honey, kitty, little honey, kitty. I got part of it. Oh my God. I just typed it out like three times. It's honey, kitty, honey, kitty. And I call Hunter honey. So it's so cute. I am praying for you and your family. I'm very, very sorry. I've obviously you know I've been through this quite often so it's it's difficult I'm very sorry for your loss but I am praying for you so and I'm glad my video yesterday made you smile I'm glad I'm really really glad so yesterday I didn't what did I do I got like that one video up that was it because oh my god it was a crazy day so I can't even remember yesterday. When, when so much happens, it's like crazy. So what happened? I got in touch with that woman who I missed the call back on. And she wrote back right away. I'm going to call you today. I'm like, yes. All right. Then you're like, they don't give you time frames. You're like, okay, I'm just going to hold on to this phone 
and not move. And not, of course, you walk around with the phone. Like, and of course, she calls them in the kitchen. But I, I, I had nobody ever called, so I knew who it was. So I, I answered with, I don't want to give away my secrets, how I talk on the phone. So I answered, uh, you, how it usually works is there's a job or gigs, whatever they want to call these things. And you, you have to basically write an essay sell yourself they'll tell you what they're looking for and you got to sell yourself sell yourself and if you have pictures that can prove you can do it example i'm a rock climber all right so i got pictures of me climbing a rock i've climbed mount everest you tell them about it like that if they like your story you get the call back the actual call on the phone so that's your next interview you get the interview on the phone you got to nail it you got to be quick hit every point they got to remember you. She loved me. And you'll know right away because usually you get the next step. The next step is the audition tape. Voila. And so then, you know, she really liked me. So we were really talking. And then you try to get little hints of what they're looking for. And she says, well, it'd be really good if you had that in front of you. I says, okay, I will have it in front of me. So hang up. Holy shit, I gotta make an audition tape. Wasn't planning for it. Needed stuff. Hello, sit down, Instacart, drop another $100 bill, put priority shipping, pay more money. I don't care, get me what I need now. That's coming in. Hop in the shower, hair and makeup. This comes, boom, make an apple pie. Hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, made the apple pie, made the audition tape. Send you audition tape. When they like you, you will get a response. A, S, A, P. Sent the tape in. Sent the photos in because you had to send in more photos. They want more photos because it's never enough. They want more. More. More is more is better. So more photos. The tape. Sent it in. Then I had to tell someone, so I'm texting Adam, and as I'm texting him, she's chiming in, love it, fantastic, love it. I got two separate emails, love the video, love the photos, love it. I'm like, yes, score, all right, yes, yes, yes. So when I was talking to her, I says, well, um, you don't know any dates, you never know anything, you live on the edge. So I says, well, when would I know? She says, seven days before. I said, okay, great. Thank you. Hope to hear from you. And that's how it ends. And you wait. And that's how it is. So seven days before the date, I'll find out if I got chosen for this gig. It is in studio and it's in New York. So that's cool. That's cool. If I make it. They're looking for three people. Hopefully I'm one. And now they're just looking for two. Who are now my enemies. And I have to hate them. Uh, kidding not a little bit maybe <laughs> so that was yesterday and it's just exciting it's a thrilling and then it's like I didn't think I made any videos other than the apple pie because if you could just throw everything into that audition tape you throw it into it and an audition tape is usually one minute one minute but sometimes short and sweet is better so since I've had all this experience, TikToks and the shorts, I said, they want to make a long video. So I did it in 30 seconds and I knew it. I knew it. I knew I had everything I needed. I knew, I knew exactly what they were looking for and she loved it. So 30 second audition tape and I know I sold it. So I love it. It's exciting. It's something to look forward to, you know. Only one person knows. You know who I'm talking about. Yes, I told Adam. He's the only person I have to tell, so he knows. So, fingers crossed. Of course, he never heard of what I'm auditioning for. I'm like, yeah, well, whatever. Then he thought it was like a local, local gig. Like the corner store type thing. I'm like, no. Local to me is New York City now, bro. That's local to me. So, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So I ordered what I needed, $100, and I was in a panic. I needed what I needed, and I needed now. The longer you take to make your Instacart order, the longer time when I needed. So I just ordered exactly what I needed. 
Um, I ordered spinach. I you, know, you have to order stuff because these people got to make money off of how much you order. So they're not going to do the order. So my, my fallback is always my soda. So it's all right. Let me get my soda. What I needed. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you to the person. I don't know if I can find it. Wait a minute. Let me see. Of course, I don't have you on mute. So I hope no music starts playing. Do not play. Wait, wait. Got my contacts in, cannot read for shit, so just give me a minute. Now, who was it? <sighs> Wait a minute. Was it you? Because you're like an enemy. I don't like it. This person, I don't like. And they, they go by numerous names, and it really throws me for a loop because I always forget who they are. You're an enemy of me. Why am I not blocking? Bitch. I, you're. Why don't I block you? You are my enemy, right? I think this person's my enemy. I gotta block it. I'm just not gonna do it right this second, but I think you're an enemy. Lisa, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lisa sent me something. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, who was the other person who told me about this? Was it you? Are you my enemy too? I don't even know who these people are. They're, everybody sends me stuff. I, I really don't know who they are because like I said, they use different names. I don't know who anyone is. I don't know. Everybody's called by weird names, code names that I don't know. I have no idea and I cannot find it. Here you are, Stacy with a B. I don't know if you want your last name or not. Stacy, thank you, thank you, thank you. You told me about the snow volcano and hell. Yeah. I had Instacart drive, driver yesterday get me a gallon of vinegar. And this, it, and then like, do you remember where, where did I go shopping the other day? Was it Monday or Tuesday? Was that this week or was that last week? I don't even remember. Every day seems the same to me. I got the baking soda. I says, well, I better get more baking soda. So today's Instacart, I have baking soda coming. Yesterday I got the 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 vinegar, and then yesterday because I was watching how you make the volcanoes, what you do is you basically um, get a bottle. Um, you know, water bottle, you know, a freaking water bottle, not like this, but you know, those plastic ones and fill it with the baking soda, food dye color, put it in and then you build the snow all around it. And then you pour in the vinegar, just like you did in school when you were a kid for that project. And then it comes up. So hell, it's an oddly satisfying video. So I'm like, thank you very much, Stacy. So I got, I ordered four. Four pounds of baking soda. I'm like, shit, if we're going to get feet of snow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work that snow. Hell yeah. So we're going to do snow volcanoes. Not tomorrow, Saturday. Today's Friday? No, wait. Holy shit, what is today? Hey, Siri, what day is today? It's Thursday, Thursday. the 27th of January, 2022. I, I, I don't even know where we are anymore. It's Thursday. Okay, it's Thursday. Okay, so tomorrow it's supposed to start, but not enough, they said. But maybe I can go get some video or something, but it won't be enough to make the volcano. Saturday it will. So Saturday I'll be making the volcanoes in the park, and I can't wait. So then I had to have, I don't have the bottles, because I watched a woman make one, and hers wasn't very good because she used a little cup. And don't forget, I got to carry everything, physically carry everything. So I, I, I feel bad. I had the um, Instacart guy get um, a case of water, the bigger bottles, because the more bottle and then more volcano. And I might actually might do two. I don't know. I got 24. And then I feel bad because I ordered water and I literally bought the containers just for the bottles. So I'll be throwing all that out. The water, I only bought for the container. So then I got to have water. I have to have, I have to empty all the water bottles of water, fill half with vinegar. The other ones I got to do a baking soda, a food dye, have it all prepped and ready so I can go to the park when it's 20 degrees out, <laughs> not get cold, freeze to death and all that. Do it, do it, and do it and go. And I still want to find my balloons because even though the balloon videos didn't do good, I thought they were freaking cool. So I'd like the balloon pop videos. I'll see about that. So I love it. I'm so excited for the, for the weather. I can't wait for Saturday. So... I said, I was thinking of doing Instacart tomorrow. Let me push it. But I says, wait a minute. That girl said it's going to start. I said, there'll never be any shoppers. There'll never be. And I said, all right, today. So now, right now, 
They're shopping. Who do I have today? Oh, what a name. I can't pronounce it. Holy crap. What is this? Gvusto. G-U-S-T-A-V-O. Gvusto. It looks Italian. I have no idea. I bet we just call him Gus. Yeah, Gus. All right, Gus. So Gus is shopping. He's got my onions. I ordered onions. He got my baking soda and he got honey. What, what I also need was the eggs. I forgot to order eggs. I only have a four day supply of eggs that I'm trying to figure day wise. That would carry me to like Monday or Tuesday. I don't like, well, I only, I don't need the Friday. I don't worry about eating because it's going. And then there's like, but I'm still like, it's four days. And I'm like, if I don't have any eggs, when I come back from Florida, that day, I'll have to do an Instacart the next day. Jesus Christ, I'm coming back on a, a Wednesday, Thursday, and I might be doing something that Friday. So it's so it's like I, I, I need to have some food in the house when I come back. So I says, do the Instacart now. And I figured there wouldn't be any delivery people. And as it was... They, I, uh, oh, did you find it? Oh, no, you didn't find my soda yet. Okay, yesterday we got soda. Yesterday we got soda. So when I went to order the food today, you couldn't pick your time slot. If you did, it would have been six to nine o'clock at night. I don't like that. So I put a random thing and you couldn't, you couldn't, thank God yesterday was yesterday because today you couldn't even prioritize because everybody's putting food orders in because of the storm that's coming. But I got lucky and Gus picked it up quickly. So... He's just looking for <laughs> snow caps. I thought that might make a nice crunch video because the little snowballs and you crunch them. I thought that would be good. I put down three more sodas. They have paper towels on sale. Well, with all these crush videos, I go through paper towels like crazy. And I got the eggs coming. So let's see what Gus can find. But the honey was a good deal. It was only $3 and then the soda and then the um, baking soda. So yeah. I just wanted to tell you the good news. I got the call back. I made it to the next point. It's exciting. It's awesome. You might see me again on TV. Yes, yes, yes. It's nail biting. It's so nail biting. Oh my, you have no idea. Your stomach is constantly in a, in a knot. And all day I've been unsubscribing to all this junk email. So I never miss a callback email again. That's what happened, I guess. It got buried, you know. So that's about it. I just wanted to... What the fuck all this crappy emails I get? Let me get this shit that people sign me up for. It's so annoying. Anyways, just wanted to say hi and I wanted to say thank you. And I wanted to say I'm so sorry to Pia. So I wanted to say a few things because yesterday it was just that video making the apple pie, which is really good, by the way. And it's super easy to make. And I had one slice of it. What's that? Oh, okay. All right. Well, I have mega packages coming today, too. I have so much. It's all going to come at the same time. What did I do with the apple pie? I threw it out. I had one slice, threw it out. Uh, when you're on a diet like me, what you do is you take the pie, turn it upside down over the garbage, and you destroy it. That's what we do. It's not wasteful. I needed to do what I needed to do. That's that. It's a shame, but uh, what am I going to do? So that is what happened to the pie. Because I'm sure many people out there are saying, oh my God, she looks fatter. Oh my God, you know she ate that whole pie. You know it. Nope. One slice. Goodbye. $100 pie threw the whole thing out. Yeah, what the hell? Why not? Why not? All right, guys, have a wonderful day. And please say a prayer for Pia and her family for strength. So, All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.